after this is to William Ruto. He can never lie to the fact that it was Jubilee that was given the initial responsibility of implementing our constitution. And for 20, 10 years, Uhuru remained loyal and faithful to the constitution. He never attempted to amend it through the back door. We now see a regime that is keen on amending the constitution through the back door. Amendments that require a referendum, they want to introduce them through parliament. Mm -hmm. Why we need a strong jubilee is because we need a strong voice to say no to mutilation of our constitution. Tulipoamuka leo asubuhi na tukaona manyunyu tulijua kwamba siku ya leo tafuta kabuti. Siku siku jema ujulikana asubuhi. Hakuna kitu tunagojea ifanywe na hawa KK. Nothing. Ni kupora tu. Kupora. Upolaji hujaonekana Kenya hii. Project zote zilikuwa zinafanywa eneo hili na Mount Kenya zimehamishwa mambo ambayo yalikuwa yanafanyika wakati wa, mo, wa, wa moi. Kitu ya kwanza moi alifanya ni kubomoa cooperative society. Huyu amekuja amemaliza hawa hata gubato zile vyama table banking za kina mama the youth groups and kila kitu. So where there was a, where we could go for cheap money now is gone. But we are telling Kenyans and especially people from Mount Kenya we've been here before now we have come out. Even now, we will still come out. Don't give up. Let us come together and say enough is enough. And that's all we need to say. So that we can save what we can save, salvage what we can salvage, and then allow ourselves into the next level. Because I can assure you, three years, seven months, and some 18 days, it's not a long while. It's very painful, I know, uh, but it will, be, it will come to an end. Kwa hivyo, kwa hayo mengi na machache nataka tusugumzue na mwenye amechukua kiti hapa. Now, what is also now warning to us as leaders of Azimio, as leaders in this country, is the thought that uh, William seems to have some mental issues. If you watched him when he was being interviewed by young people, his demeanor and the choice of words displayed of a, a person who has a problem that requires some investigation. One of the grounds of impeaching a president or removing him from office is when you think his mental capacity is in doubt. And I think it is the high time that the offices that are, have this responsibility takes it up. How do you explain the kind of lying that he is doing? Paka watoto wa Nazare school wanamjua ya kwamba Ruto is a liar. He lies all the time. Ata mtoto wakitabia ugo bukado ya barabara wamasema uongo, uongo. That has become the song across the country. So it is important that the institutions that are charged with this responsibility uh, puts the machinery in place to check on his capacity, his ability to manage this country from a mental point of view. And saying that uh, he be checked mentally does not mean that he's a madman. But the mental capacity could be below that which is expected of a president. Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba uh, upande wa mulima sisi ni wakulima. Makandamia, majani chai, kahawa, tunangombe. Na upande wa chini tunamirama mugoka. Haya yote alisemwa tukaambiwa kwamba mambo yatakuwa yamepandilika na tutapewa uh, pesa. Tutakuwa na pesa uh, mifukoni. Lakini jambo la kushangaza ni kwamba leo hii kila mkulima hako na kilio. Serikali ya Ruto ama hili tunaita uh, Kenya Kwisha walisema kwamba mkulima wa kahawa hatakuwa napewa shiringi uh, thema nini kwa kilo ya kahawa mbaya atauza. Na niambia wakulima. Wakati huu ndiyo tumeanza kusikia watu wanapewa shilingi ishirini za krismasi. Hizo siyo fedha ambazo zinaweza musaindia mkulima. Tukiangalia garama ambayo hamesimamia wakati wa uh, kupalilia mumea, kuchuma kahawa na yale mengine. Na kwa hivyo mini ngetaka tu ni wakumbushe watu wa Mount Kenya ama awa, watu wa mulima. Tuko na shinda na viongozi ambao walichaguliwa wa Kenya kuisha. Sababu wao ni waongo na ukiona mtu muongo ana Ayuko uh, 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 mbali na mwizi Hao ni watu ambao wako karibu nyumba monja Tukumbuke 
mtu anaitwa William Samoyo Ruto yeye ni mwanafunzi wa kisiasa wa Hayati Marehemu Moi na yale Moi alitutendea kama watu wa mlima hatuwezi tukasahau na ndio tunasema wakati umefika tuseme yamekwisha na tumepata shinda za kutosha ni lazima tuhamasishe watu wetu wa mlima tuamuke na turundi kule tulikokuwa tukumbuke uhuru wa Kenya wakati wa maumau ni watu wa mlima ambao walipigania wakati huu kweli ikiwa wakati huo tulikula ngombe mzima mkia utatushinda